Liquid, liquid, liquid nitrogen. All right, I'm gonna put the liquid nitrogen inside the bucket. All right, so this is that minus 196 degrees Celsius. Bit nippy. As you can see, the liquid nitrogen evaporates instantly into a nitrogen gas. Nitrogen gas makes up about 78% of the Earth's atmosphere, and it's the most common element on Earth. It's in every breath we take, every move we make. Inside the bucket, we've got boiling water. What's gonna happen if I put the hot water in the liquid nitrogen? Let's find out. Liquid nitrogen is just nitrogen gas at extremely low temperatures. It's got many uses, from freezing food to freezing blood, to cool super magnets, to cool astronomical instruments like infrared and x-ray detectors. It can be also used to make super smooth ice cream. All right, so let's pour some inside here. Oh, it's freezing. So as you can see, the liquid nitrogen is boiling into nitrogen gas. For liquid nitrogen, it's like south of Carlo in the summertime here. For us, it's freezing. As it meets the warm air, it boils immediately into nitrogen gas. Liquid nitrogen can be used to freeze foods instantly. So let's see that. So I got some marshmallows, okay? So I'm ready to, mm, chewy, tasty, delicious. Let's pop a few into the liquid nitrogen. So we have them in here. Okay. We've frozen the marshmallow and now, crunchy. If a few drops fell on your finger, it would instantly boil and roll away. This is because of the Leidenfrost effect, where it vaporizes instantly into a thermally insulating nitrogen gas layer. But if it got in contact with your skin for more than a second, or you put your finger in it, it would instantly freeze and fall off. Bin is almost frozen and there's a giant block of ice at the bottom of it. That is cool. Let's see if I can get it out. Oh, good lord. Check that out. Check that out. Ah, I can still use that. <laughs> 